double fisting on, I've got Totoro here. I just put a few drops of the Four Sigmatic Superfood blend. It's like 10 different mushrooms and rose hips. I've been enjoying that in my coffee. Um, right now I am drinking, as far as coffee, I ran out of their, out of the ground coffee by Four Sigmatics. I have another one coming from iHerb, but I, um, just, uh, am drinking, uh, Javalia this morning with some of that super, superfood blend, which is 10 different mushrooms. And it, it really, it really enriches the coffee quite a bit. It doesn't taste bitter, it doesn't taste like mushrooms, and it doesn't have a sweet aftertaste because there's no stevia in the, in the 10 mushroom drink. Oh, it's really good. So I've got Totoro and, and, all right. A viewer sent this to me, so I'm not cheating on Bubba, but, Check it out! It's a glitter Totoro water cup, you guys. And not only does it have Totoro on it, but can you see that? I'm trying not to drop it. My forehead is not a very good cup holder. It says Dr. Dre on it. How cool is that? Um, this individual customized this cup for this container for me with this glitterati on it, and I'm so so excited because you do you guys ever watch um erin williams um i've watched her for, for several years now and uh when she first started she was into making these glitter yetis and she had a pinterest or uh, not a pinterest shop an etsy shop and then it just got beat got to be too much for her when her YouTube channel blew up, then, you know, <laughs> the orders went, went, went skyrocketed and she couldn't keep up with it, I guess. Um, it was quite a bit, so she doesn't make them anymore. And when I found her channel, I was like, I want a Glitter Yeti, and now I've got one, and this one's got Totoro on it, so I'm so stoked. I've got, um, let me show you what water I'm drinking. You all will recall doing a lot of beverage updates here. I'm getting a lot of hydration in. I have to make sure I have enough caffeine in my system to uh, to articulate this properly. But you'll recall that um, I used to consistently drink Natural Calm and I stopped drinking it for a while. The reason I drank it as, is the same reason I drink anything, solely for the taste. Um, Natural Calm, if you're not familiar, is like a magnesium containing beverage and it's supposed to be calming. You're supposed to drink it, put it in hot water um, and drink it at night and it can help you sleep. However, you can also put it in cold water. And uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a magnesium supplement, discuss with your treating healthcare provider if that's right for you. But um, I do know that that is a, a source of a magnesium supplement. I don't take it for the magnesium, I take it for the taste. I've always enjoyed the cherry flavor, but check out what I got getting to the point. I got this watermelon flavor. You all, this is a, um, this was a, um, a limited edition flavor over the summer and I, j I just got it recently. It's really good. I just put a teaspoon of this in 32 ounces of ice cold water and it tastes really good. It doesn't have any, any um, it's sweetened with, a, with stevia, but it doesn't have any calories or sugar or anything like that. And in two teaspoons, which is a serving, it has 290 milligrams. I don't take it for the magnesium and I find that just one teaspoon is enough. Uh, but yeah, this is a limited edition one. Oh, it's so good. It's vegan, gluten-free, and um, um, it doesn't say it's kosher, but it's dairy-free and wheat-free and egg-free. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Does that? I, I don't think that fully constitutes as kosher. But um, anyways, it's quite good. <laughs> Today I am channeling my uh, inner. I'm channeling my inner uh, Princess Jasmine here. I don't know. I, I promise I didn't plan this. I'm wearing my, my hair up in a bun and I've just got my Anna Lisa jewelry on. It's kind of, I don't know, <laughs> Aladdin-esque. <laughs> and I'm wearing jogger pants and my little, let's see if you can see, my little pink slippers from Yes Style. And of course, my boo, my Totoro socks. <laughs> 
yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, update on the, was it pars not parsnips, uh, turnips that I bought at the grocery store. We couldn't decide if they were turnips or rutabagas. And I didn't bother to look it up, but I did eat one. <laughs> and so, instead of figuring out what it was called, I just ate it. Um, it was quite good. All right, this is what it tastes like, and this is what I did with it. I just chopped it up into cubes and put it into um, soup. I made uh, like a uh, bean soup last night with uh, beans and an onion and a carrot and cabbage and you all have seen me do that a bazillion times. But I threw in a chopped up rutabaga or, par or, or turnip, I can't decide which one. And uh, it tastes really good in, in the soup. It tastes like a hybrid between, almost like a, it doesn't really taste like a potato. It's like, it tastes like a broccoli stock, um, but harder. So if you ever season soups, flavor soups and things are cooked with broccoli, broccoli stems, it's kind of what it tastes like. It's kind of a, on the, it's almost, I know what it's like. It's like a hybrid between a broccoli stem, a stock, broccoli stock and, and a radish because it's a little crispy. And I think you can eat them raw. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it's pretty good. It, it's in the family. They're both, whichever one it is, they're, they're both in the family of cruciferous vegetables. So really, really good. Enjoyed that. Oh, and what else can I tell you? Oh, this morning I did blog Lottie's came here for the love dot 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 handles. That is a good one. I'll list it down below for you guys because um, I know you enjoy it when I list my little morning stretchy stretchy for you. But Casey, Casey has a new inner thigh routine that I need to I need to give a whirl. I, um, somebody commented the other day, "Have I tried it? I haven't tried it yet, so I'll have to try that." But skincare update, I have run out of Altruist, you may have noticed, and I'm using Elta MD UV Clear as my base layer sunscreen, still wearing the MD, uh, still wearing the, um, the uh, Color Science um, Tinted uh, Mineral Face Shield and 3-in-1 Eye for a little bit of iron oxides for a visible light protection. And I'm still using the PCA Skin Pigment Bar, by the way, and I have maturely but I kind of think it's work I kind of think it's doing something it's not irritating I will say that no it is not good for sensitive skin because it has sandalwood in it but um, you know the, for those of you who are like what is she talking about this is the new the kojic acid soap I've been trying out it comes in a jar it's by PCA physician blah 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 something something um, I bought it myself by the way it's not sponsored or anything um, PCA, the PCA Skin Pigment Bar, I kind of think it's doing something. I've been using it now for close to a month, almost. no, not close to a month, coming up on a month, I don't know, time flies. And I lather it on my face, I let it sit on my skin in the morning, um, so I, I wet my face, lather it, I lather it just to, to my lower face, I don't even put it on my forehead because I don't really have any hyperpigmentation there. I lather it on my lower face and uh, onto wet skin and I let it sit there for two minutes um, that's kind of the annoying part. And then in the morning, I do still wash my face with the La Roche-Posay Salicylic Acid Face Wash um, just to acne prone areas on my face for acne control. I don't use that around my eyes or anything, nor do I use the PCA soap. And I kind of use that um, for acne control, oil control, and to just like kind of remove sun damaged skin cells, although my tretinoin does that at night. Um, so I am still using that alongside with the PCA Skin Pigment Bar. I rinse it off and then I put on the Elta MD UV Clear. I put it on to a damp face because it is my moisturizer. And so I put, it, I put a layer on to a damp face as a moisturizer and then I let that kind of dry fully and then I put another couple of layers on top so that I make sure that the filters in the sunscreen have a good um, now dry a moisturized surface to set up on. So that is how I do it with the with the with the sunscreen on on my on my face to keep it from getting dry, but to also allow the filters to set up properly. And that particular sunscreen is a combination sunscreen, so it has zinc in it, and um, I believe it has octane oxide in it as well. You guys are getting heavy. You guys put on weight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So that's what's going on, um, and yeah. Oh, also, I fired up, I've been burning my cinnamon pecan swirl by Candlelight Company, like pretty much nonstop since I've, uh, you know, 
in in the apartment oh, this is a good scent i recommend it it's good it it it, it puts out a good scent i'm, I'm giggling in my head <laughs> candlelight puts out <laughs> sorry <laughs> All, in all seriousness, it is a good transition from uh, summer into fall. I love bakery scents. I could burn this all year round. Bum, bum, bum. I detest this place. Hey there, I've got you on Happy Zoom. Happy Saturday. I know I look a little ragged. You do not. We're heading into Blood Bath & Beyond, one of my least favorite stores out there. I have a 20% off coupon to, to soothe me. So you want to get some wax melts? Yes. Um, my bad. Something about fall and candles. They seem to go I know. together better than summertime. Yeah, I, um, I'm excited to fire up my Tuscany candle fall harvest that I got at Kroger. That will, uh, that will happen after. I'm currently burning, I was showing them this morning, I'm currently burning pe pecan cinnamon waffle. So not waffle. It's it's some sort of a pastry in a, the form of wax that is delightful from the candlelight company, and it's quite nice. Yeah, I also wanted to get some more command hooks. I want to get some to put to put in the hall closet, the little closet to hang up my like these kinds of things, my UV protective cloaks and shields, <laughs> my capes. A superhero cape. <laughs> that is your superhero cape. I like this one. Yeah, that is a good one. That's a good one for a purse. Yeah, it is. I have all the dorm things. I don't really like. I don't really like the clear plastic. I have one of these currently. It's not this brand, but I have. This is what I have hanging in my in my little hall closet. And I only allow myself enough pair, uh, pairs of shoes that are contained within that because I don't like I don't like bringing shoes into my bedroom closet. I just think that that's gross. I don't know. <laughs> you, you track debris into your bedroom. I don't know. It's, it's probably all in my head, but I like to take my shoes off immediately, and I just store them in something that looks exactly like this in the in the little hall. I keep calling it a hall closet. It's not really a hall closet, but little broom closet. <laughs> These kinds of things always are tempting and they're sort of uncomfortable. This is the back to school area, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this is cute for your jewelry and selfie needs. Oh. <laughs> Oh, these things are nice. I like these colors. Grommet tote. What is a pet wedge? A oh, a hair, hair removal. removal. <laughs> is that kind of like a... Uh, I guess what it's is, like a lint. Um, what is that? What is that face shaver thing that everybody is... You have one and you love it. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> What, what is your face shaver called? Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but I'm sure we'll stumble across it. Yeah. And that has actually branched out. They have all kinds of different ones now, like for... Um, yeah, it's the one you guys all use, too. Yeah. It's that little bullet-looking thing. It works well. Apparently, like Pet Wedge is... Oh, uh, it looks like a, nothing more than a Brillo pad. But, oh, I see. It's for taking off fur yeah, off it's of... it's like a Oh, got it. Fur Wizard. <laughs> Gummy chicken feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have to say, it's kind of zen in here as opposed to uh, the other bloodbath and beyond that's closer to me. Yeah, that other one is, yeah, and it's, it, they have too much packed in there, one on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Copper fit, men's recovery sleep pant. I think that's, 
some sort of gimmicky thing where you're supposed to cloak yourself in copper after exercise and they'll probably claim that it pulls ions out and oh. all this nonsense. They can say anything. Yeah. But Here's the shirt. Meanwhile, you probably develop a contact sleep. dermatitis to the metal. <laughs> now this, the below socks, I wonder if these work. Aerospace fabric technology, no more cold feet. Oh, if you live in um, Chicago or New York or any other northeast or any city with <laughs> heavy winter, these, I wonder if these are good. You don't, don't really need them here. In my apartment, um, the floors get so cold in the winter. Yeah, they do. They really do. Oh, how handy is this? The sock slider. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I think that's a really good. I wonder if it works. Yeah, comment below on if you've ever used the sock slider. I'd like to know if it works. Oh, cute little snowman. Do oh, they have any wax melts marked there? They have some candles, but I've never heard of the brand before. Oh, Javianas, these destroyed my feet the one time I wore them. This, these are really hard to break in. I don't wear flip-flops anymore, but yeah. Ooh, citronella candle. Yeah, never buy anything full price here. Looks like it's all their linens. Does linens and things still exist, or was that oh, I forgot taken about over? That. What is this, the flip? Oh, that's oh, these are handy for like for running. Yeah, yeah for running. you can keep your keys and stuff. I had one of those That'd be good for in New York. York. Yeah, I had. It wasn't this brand, but it was really handy. And the high SPF thing on here, like they're not technically supposed to make that claim, but we, you know, one one thing about sunscreen is people just don't apply enough on to get to the SPF. So sometimes higher may be better, but higher can also sometimes be slightly more irritating. I find the 30 to 50 mark is is a good guideline. This is one of my favorite Neutrogena sunscreens, though. It is their Pure and Free Liquid sunscreen. It is only mineral, and it does leave a faint cast. It does leave a cast. Darker skin types won't appreciate the cast on this. Uh, great for sensitive skin. It uh, also um, it's also not like oily or greasy. So oily skin types will be happy with it. I think it's pretty good. I've enjoyed using this. This is a good one. Yeah, this is this is theirs in a in a cream vehicle. So if you want more moisture moisture in comparison to the liquid, this is a good one, the 60 plus. What's that? I found something that's kind of a cute invention. I don't know if it works. Oh, that is handy. You hold your nail polish while you're doing your mani. The Tweeksy. Oh, that's brilliant. This is a fix all. I'm surprised I've never seen any and all fingers. any Zoya lover um, talk about this. It goes in there. But it's too, I'm not spending ten dollars. Yeah, you could buy a new nail polish to then tip over. <laughs> oh yeah, what are those called? Oh look, this is like a knockoff of the Tony Moly peach one. It's, I didn't oh. care for that when I tried it. I'm not really a fan, I'm not a fan of Burt's Bees. All of the products contain essential oils and fragrance. And their lip balms can be irritating. If you're wondering my thoughts on Burt. They even... The copper fit zip bra. Oh dear. I wonder what the purpose of I don't know. So we have some, let's give them something to talk about. How about a metal bra? Sit on an egg without breaking it. Oh. <laughs> Another topic of conversation. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, have you seen the egg sitter? <laughs> I just sat on a dozen eggs <laughs> and it was cruelty free. Oh, here it is, the flawless. That's what we were finishing Flawless finishing touch. I have to say, I'm I've been pretty impressed with Ellen DeGeneres' uh, line that she has here at at Bed Bath & Beyond, my my shower curtain is the Ellen De, is an Ellen DeGeneres shower curtain, and I've really liked it a lot. She also has uh, stuff at I think Nordstrom, like little. Uh, she has 
pretty nice handbags, but she's got these cute little socks here too. The quilt looks nice. I like that. Nice and clean. I have these placemats my mom bought and she ended up gifting them to me. I really like them. And you also have these. Yeah, that's, this is that's your fall my one. autumnal one. Yeah, they're nice. They last a long, long time. Yeah, they do. I bought them. I don't know how sanitary they are, but... The Yankee Candle Wax Melts, yeah. you don't, you're not impressed with? That's a good fallish scent, though. Why do they have to Oh, we need to consult, um, Anthony. Yeah. Candle Should Cafe. Now remember last last year you went berserk after <laughs> and you bought a lot of Yankee candle ones and <laughs> I wonder if I should buy this off brand and just be happy with that. Well can we look the Sugar and spice seems nice. Are you 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 wanted uh, do you need a candle currently or well, you just I need a candle I need juicy a citrus and sea salt? Wax melts for the hoodie owl. Oh yeah, for your hoodie owl. Well, I have to say the um, the Tuscany candle wax melts for really good. Hey, shaking your tail. He just had a face wash. That's why he looks a little. He's raggedy. just he's just had a nap and, and a face wash. <laughs> Avocado slicing. Of course. Ooh. Yeah, we, a day without an avocado is like a day without sunshine. Yeah, avocados here are quite abundant. Um, when I lived in New York, an avocado was kind of like a hope diamond as far as <laughs> finding one, and um, you know, it's like a week's salary to look for an avocado. I'm just kidding; they were kind of expensive there, but they grow really easily here. Sorry, I cut you off. They grow really easily here, and they're super, super cheap here in Texas. What were you saying before I'm just saying, I interject? I like to them at Costco. They, you know, I yeah. It comes five or six of them in the container. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have them throughout the week. I used to buy the little mini guacamole um, well, those are Those are good. And yeah. those are good too. I don't think they're too bad for you. No, no. How so, are these Ezekiel flat to know, tortillas um, you got the other? I like them. They're uh -huh. really good. They're sprouted grain. Mm -hmm. But I want to go back to my uh, pumpernickel bread. After oh yeah, I yeah. I didn't get. I I didn't see. I didn't get those. No, this that's okay. You. you don't have to pick it up for me. Every yeah, time. but the my Kroger has a better selection. I've got to make my way through here. Oh, gotcha. First. So we survived that bloodbath and beyond. Um, FYI. That bloodbath and beyond and the other bloodbath and beyond that I've been to in this area does not, they don't have the big skincare bath body section uh, like other bed bath and beyonds. When I lived in New York, the um, bed bath and beyond that I would go to had a massive like, skincare section and makeup and all sorts of things. But the ones here don't seem to have that. Um, that they also don't have like the bed baths, and bed bath and beyonds that I've been to in other states, all, oftentimes are like kind of have some of the same inventory as Cost Plus World Market, and they have all these fun like little international snacks. But these these two here in Houston, at least in this this area, don't don't seem to, to have that. They just mostly seem to have as seen on TV stuff, <laughs> which yeah, is fun. They're big on the as seen on TV. But those sunscreens were really it as far as skincare and then, you know, the Burt's Bees allergens. But speaking of fragrancy allergens, my mom did in fact get two Yankee Candle wax melts. Sugar and spice is it's quite nice. It's a like a sugar donut. I like the scent on this. And then you can't go wrong with Yankee Candle's Macintosh apple. That's a good one. So she got those, but... That's what's going on. Making up a little lunch. What that? What, what were you saying? I think I'll put some salsa. Y'all, don't judge. This is the funniest looking thing you've ever seen. <laughs> but it's full of avocado underneath, and I have my little tortilla. Yeah. So I'm going to put some salsa, just the paste picante sauce on there. Yeah. You so, could. 
you if you have like it, if you had chosen to do this <laughs> you could put the the salsa on the bottom and it'd be like a mexican pizza <laughs> hey yeah that's right it would like a taco pizza or a like something that they'd have at taco bell you know the funny the funny thing about taco bell here i'm just gonna flip you yeah this one. they actually it's actually very a very vegan friendly fast food restaurant bean they have a black bean burrito that's vegan the funny thing about Taco Bell is that it's the same four or five ingredients, or at least it used to be this way, and they they layer them in different what manners, like the tostada or the burrito. <laughs> hey, that's called marketing, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.